Hello, this is Big C Baby, and welcome back to Let's Play This Gaia! Today, I'm going to be showing you a bunch of the alternate endings that you can get in the game. Uh, for this ending, you have to uh, lose to mid-boss, back in Chapter 1 there. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Just lose to him. Fortunately, I created several save files throughout the game, so that way I can show you all of these endings that I didn't show you before. So... Yeah, just have ten characters get killed, huh? and that's it. I have won! Oh, your minions, dude. <laughs> this is not as I expected, but... I am simply too strong! I am simply too beautiful! Oh, how sinful it is! I lost? They will Wait. eventually rise again to face the challenge, but in the meantime... I lost? Oh, Wait, flowers! I'm not to oh, lose. trees! Oh, grass! Come celebrate my strength! Let the music begin! Let me see the script. Oh, anyway, yeah, so you get the ending there, and the credits roll, and that's pretty much it. I heard that in the DS version of the game, that actually if you just blast your way through to mid-boss, then lose to him, uh... Yeah, anytime you get an ending, you can do a New Game Plus. You could literally go through Chapter 1 and get New Game Plus right away. And I heard that that allows you to recruit uh, Planar, the girl who runs the Dark Assembly there, in the DS version of the game, that is. And I heard she's, like, pretty good with guns or something like that. I heard she's pretty powerful. I don't know. I never tried that. But, uh, well, you could do that if you wanted to. I'm not going to, but, uh... Okay, so that's everything for this ending. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to skip around throughout the game and until I get to the next ending. I'm not going to show the entire credit sequence. Okay, we're back in Chapter 3 here, where we are fighting Hogmiser. To get this ending, you have to defeat Hogmiser with 50 ally kills. 5-0 ally kills. Not 15. 50. And defeat him, and then you get the ending. <laughs> you lose. I'm taking everything as promised. Uh, this is Sam. You can't. I won't be able to survive without my money. Am I getting well, the ending? I'll just finish you off now. <laughs> huh. did, did, did I do something wrong? How cruel. Not only is he taking his money, but his life, too. Ganon did that to me in my Zelda 1 happen. LP. If worse comes to worse, I'll stop him with my own two hands. Yeah, right. You didn't do that the last time. Oh. Oh, yeah. Something is different here. Hell no. no. Yeah, we'll kill him. Hold it. So, demons are evil. Well, of Fools. course. Of course they are. You insolent fool! Then you leave me no choice. I shall defeat you! Animals can <laughs> sense evil. Good. Give it your best shot. Who will win? Uh. It is a pity that it has come to this. You sent her out to yes. die. The gate between the netherworld and Celestia may remain forever sealed. Well, I don't need you anymore. Bye! Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, okay, well, there is the Hogmiser ending. So, now let's skip around to the next one. Okay, this is the battle against Medeiros back in uh, Chapter 5 there. And in order to get this ending, you, it's like the set last one. You have to kill the boss, Medeiros, uh, but you need a uh, hundred ally kills, I heard. So, and then you can get this ending. For, forgive me. Please spare my life. I beg you. You'll just have to uh, take my word at the number of ally kills that I got, viewers. But, yeah, you, uh, Wait. kill him. Finish what? him. I understand how you're feeling, but you don't have to kill him. Do they have any vampires in if Mortal Kombat? If you kill guys like this when you get the chance, then they always come back with a vengeance. Understand? Yeah, pretty much. No, well, actually, that's he didn't. not true. Can't you see that he wants to repent for his sins? 
After trying to kill you? Yeah, right. Just stay out of my way. Yeah, I don't think so. If you plan on killing him, then you have to go through me first. You serious? Didn't work for, out for serious. you last time. Hey, what's that over there? Huh? Gotcha. Who do you think you are, King? Or no, no, I don't want to spoil it. I just realized I was going to this spoil something. This is what something. happens when you try messing with me. Not this game, but another LP. I might as well kill the prince too. The world is mine. <laughs> Heroin now! But you're flat, flat chested. What are you gonna do? Okay, so yeah, that's all you gotta do to uh, get the Madeira sending. So now the next one I wanna show you is a bit more involved. Okay, we are in the item world, level 99 of a power, quasi power belt. Uh, this is the item god ending. In order to get this ending, you have to take. Uh, you have to defeat the item god and have an ally kill and then beat the game. Which would be with, uh, you know, the, the final battle of the game, the normal storyline there. Uh, the only way you can fight the item god is by getting to floor the 100th floor of the battlefield. There's the item god. And the only way you can get to the 100th floor of an item is with a legendary item. It could be an item, weapon, doesn't matter. You just go down a hundred floors and defeat the item god. I would think you'd have to kill all the other guys. Uh, I don't know if you have to, but I'm going to anyway, since it'll be easy enough. Uh, my recommendation is to... Uh, well, first you gotta get a legendary item. So, I would get a very cheap item, like a fairy dust or something, go through the item world, and find a legendary item there. Whether it's on the bonus list, or uh, stealing, I just happened to steal this one from just a random enemy I found in the item world. And, uh, doesn't matter how powerful the item is, it can be a really weak item, really powerful item, doesn't matter. So, I decided to go for a really weak item, so that way, all the enemies that I have to fight on the way down are also really easy, including the item god. Uh, it doesn't matter how powerful the item god is. Here goes. All you gotta do is just kill one of them. So, and then, once you get the legendary item, go all the way down 100 floors, and it took me you know, over an hour to do that. And then you kill the item god. And we got a level 100 quasi power belt. Not that I'm going to use it, but uh, well, there we are. So now we got the uh, one friendly kill, or one ally kill, and we killed an item god. So now you got to go through the final battle again, which will be really fast here. I figured I'll just show this one. I won't show it again for the next time, but uh, for this ending I will. Cheer up, Krona. Huh. Die. <laughs> you angels don't stand a chance against me! Okay, one... Okay, let's see how the ending changes this time around. You have to have one ally kill, because the good ending overrides any other ending. <gasps> Wait! So, just so you know. Mid boss. Well, too late, we already killed him. No, it was I. Oh, sorry. Are you out of your mind? He deserved to die. He killed Flan, even though she had complete faith in him. The Seraph is still alive. Just huh? barely, though. Oh. I wonder why killing the item god changed that. Let the truth be known. There can only be one! Or, wait a minute, no, that, that's not the truth he's talking about. Hey! So it's kind of a mixture of the two endings, I guess. Huh? Where am I? I was supposed to be punished and... Vlan! What's this all about? 
Celestia and the Netherworld were not always in opposition. Seraph Lamington and another person of influence dreamed of reuniting them. He sent angel trainee Flan to the Netherworld to meet you and begin rebuilding trust. Huh? You and Flan are the knot that binds the two worlds together. We're not going to forget what Kanan said. Punishing her from the very beginning. Well, then why didn't he just say so? The knot? <laughs> I like how they switched the line there. Why didn't he tell me that? If only I'd known. That would have been easier. But then we wouldn't his have had a final boss fight. For having used you in his plan. He chose this as his punishment. Hmm. I guess my heart is wicked after all. I didn't know. But still, in my anger, I... Stop it! It's not your fault! You're right, it isn't. A lot of things happened since I came to the Netherworld, but I really enjoyed my time with you guys. Now you're a demon. You can join us. You showed me the importance of friendship. You got the demon bat wings, the tail, and everything. You taught me that angels, demons, and humans are not as different as they might seem. So please... Etna? Yes? Well, Take my you... place. Why? I'm not ready to be the overlord yet. Prince! Where are you going to go? Laharl! Yeah, where does it go? I don't think they ever explain that. We'll meet again, right, Laharl? You're not going to tell us, are you, Kim? One day we can all live together in peace. Huh. Okay, well, that's the item god ending. So, yeah, like I said, just uh, get one ally kill, defeat the item god, finish the ending, and or finish the game, and that's it for that one. So, now there's one more ending that I want to show you guys here. This one's going to take a while. Okay, we're back here. Uh, basically, to get this ending, you have to pass, uh, or force, or pass 50 bills in the Senate by force. I heard in the original PlayStation 2 version it was 100 bills, but at least in the PSP version it was only 50 for me, so. In the end, all that remained were silence and emptiness. That was fast. What is lost can never be regained. All those Laharl senators quietly picked the flower and left as the stage drew to a close. Killed a lot of senators for this one. No one ever saw him again. Don't they, like, run out of senators sooner or later? I mean, you'd figure after killing all of them that, you know, people would stop wanting to be elected. Then again, we have elected dead people to office, so wh why not? Okay, well, I think that's pretty much all the alternate endings you can get, aside from, well, Etna mode, but in the main storyline, I, I think that's all of them. If there's one I missed, well, uh, let me know, viewers. But this LP is not over yet, viewers. I have indeed decided to do Etna mode after all, so this LP will live on! I figured, you know, enough of you guys uh, seemed interested in it, a lot of you guys... Uh, you know, su supported this, and uh, so yeah, I'm I'm happy to uh, give Etna Mode a try. I mean, I've been through Etna Mode. I know what happens. I just didn't like really do any hardcore research or test runs for it. Uh, not that I really need to, because I could just New Game Plus into it and just annihilate all the battles there, which is pretty much what I'm planning to do. Uh, I heard that if you Th there's a way you can start Etna Mode at level one. And then all the enemies are relatively normally leveled, whereas if you New Game Plus into it, I think like all the enemies are have their levels multiplied by five or something. But with all the level grinding I've done, I'll still outweigh them. So uh, it, that wouldn't matter with the New Game Plus. Uh, the only reason I would want to do a start from level one, maybe, would be to make the battles perhaps more challenging. But pretty much, I've pretty much shown you how to play the game. I mean, you know how to handle the strategy. 
you know how to do the grinding, and if I did start from level 1, I'd have to do all that grinding all over again. So I figured, you know what, if I'm going to do Etna Mode, let's at least just blast my way through the battles and pretty much play it for the story there. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, I've pretty much shown how to do everything in the game. So, I mean, I'll, I'll show the battles, certainly, but I mean, I'm pretty much just going to plow through them with uh, little to no effort. So, I think that's the best way to go there. And uh, thank you for your support through 3,000 videos, viewers. I know I don't have a celebration going for that, but, uh, well, I figured I'd, well, maybe I'll do something, but, uh, well, I figured I'd at least acknowledge it, and, uh, well, here's to another, well, at least 500 more videos. I plan on doing this for quite a long time, as long as I keep on having fun doing this, and as long as you guys keep on supporting me. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!